Welcome back to 3D Printing 101. In this video, we'll be discussing the best ways to orient your 3D prints. So when you're printing out a photo on a piece of paper, the orientation that you print out doesn't really matter. It's going to look pretty much the same, right? But with 3D printing, the way you orient and place that part on the build platform has a huge effect on that final part. Because 3D printing is a layer by layer process, these layers will affect your part strength, part quality, print time, and also material use, particularly when it comes to support material. But how do you determine the best way to print your part? Well, I'm gonna work through some practical examples to show you what choices I would make and why. Take a simple rectangle. You could print it like this on its side, or standing up like this, or even crazy angles like this. The most influential factor on your print should be what kind of strength you require. The layers of a 3D print are much like a wood grain and will always be the weakest point of a print. With this in mind, you would probably print in this orientation, right? Yes and no, this is where it gets fairly interesting. An FDM 3D printer generally has a 0.4 or 400 micron size nozzle, but could probably print down to a 0.1 or 100 micron layer. This means that the finest line your printer is capable of extruding is four times coarser than the finest detail it could resolve on the sides of your prints. So, if you need your part to have the highest detail possible, you may indeed have to print it in this orientation, despite being a weaker print overall. This is especially important for text and small details such as texture, and why when you're printing busts or characters, you'll generally want to print them standing up rather than lying down on their back or side. The next consideration is support material. Some shapes are easy and don't need any, but some might and the amount you need is heavily dependent on your print orientation. More support means longer print times and more material used, however you may have to print in these orientations for strength or quality reasons. So as you can tell by now, there's a lot of trade-offs in printing orientation, so let's work through a practical example. I've got a pair of Sennheiser HD25 headphones that I really like and I wanted to design a headphones holder for them that fitted onto my desk. This is the design I came up with. So there's a few considerations. Firstly, I want it to be strong enough to hold the headphones, but also resilient enough in case someone bumps into the table and knocks it. I also chose to stick my Maker's Muse logo onto it, and I want that to print nicely and legibly. So what orientation would you choose? So how about this orientation? As you can see, the logo looks fantastic due to being printed along the sides of the part. However, we have a problem. The layers are running across the holder. This means this holder won't be very strong at all. There's also a lot of support material which wastes plastic and is a pain to remove. So how about this orientation? The lines run along the holder so it should be pretty strong, but now the logo looks pretty bad as it's suffering the limitations of the nozzle diameter. The layers also mean that although this part won't break where the headphones are held, it may break further down the mount where the layers have a very small contact area. Also again, there's quite a lot of support material. So that just leaves us with this orientation. Printing the part on its side gives us the best of both worlds. A very strong part with nice big layers, but also a pretty good definition on the logo as it's still along the sides of the print. The only downside of this orientation, some printers will struggle to print this part without significant warping due to the very long and thin edges and particularly the support that's underneath the edge of the headphones holder. So if you're printing in this orientation and your printer can't handle it, you may have to go to PLA or try one of the other orientations. So there you have it. As you can see, there's no clear answer when it comes to print orientations. There's almost always some sort of trade-off. and It'll just come down to what features you want most prominent in your 3D print. It's also a good idea to keep your print orientation in mind right from the start of the design process. So when you get to that final print, you won't be stuck trying to find out which way is best to print it. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to Maker's Muse for more 3D Printing 101. And if you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.